Hi, my name is Matthew Quilliam. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe because it really helps me out to get all these new videos out to you. Now without further ado, let's look at today's book that I'm reviewing. This is 50 Miniature Studies for Ukulele by Trian Galvez. Now Trian is an absolutely phenomenal ukulele composer. He has written so many works for ukulele. I think at least over a hundred by now, perhaps coming up to nearly 200, I'm not sure to be honest with you. But each one that I play is absolutely amazing and gives me such a sense of enjoyment when I'm playing them on the ukulele. I really feel like they have been written for ukulele. The fingerings fall right underneath the fingers and it, they're such joys to play. He generally does two kinds of things. In one camp he's very experimental and uses a lot of minimalist Tintinabuli type sort of quite crazy ideas and things to create some really passionate beautiful music that's a little experimental and really interesting to me. On the other hand he's got some more say traditional pieces with waltzes and lullabies. I know that he's a pretty big family man and he writes lots of music for his young children. Uh, he's recently published a book of lullabies, ukulele lullabies, and he's a big fan of, of waltzes as well which are a bit more uh, harmonic diatonic perhaps you might say, and a bit more conventional, but nevertheless still have lots of Chowenisms in them that make them stand out as quality compositions. And in this book we've got something a little bit different. Studies are not exactly pieces, although they can be, but they're more sort of pieces of music that help you train for a specific technique. And with 50 of these studies then there's a lot of technique covered. You've got really nice high quality printing, the music is so crisp. And actually, you'll notice it's a ring-bound book and the paper does feel a little bit uh, rough, which is good because studies are an educational sort of uh, approach to music. This is not a how-to book, so any of the things that the studies cover you're not taught how to do. Instead, the pieces are good practice pieces for various techniques, such as cherry-picking, double stops, hemiola, harmonics, syncopation, tremolo, etc. You've got so many different topics. In fact, if you have a look at this page, studies by subject, you can see how many subjects there are. So these are very much educational pieces of music. And I kind of like the roughness of the paper because they, it makes it feel more like a manuscript book rather than a sort of um, declaration of how these pieces should be, because it means you can write on the page means you can put your own mark on it and go, ah, I need to remember to do this. You can circle bits and highlight bits and make a nice mess of the page, which is a really good thing, by the way. Your music books should not be pristine. They should be covered in markings. And my book, well, this book in, in general is very new, which is why mine isn't so messy yet, but I'm sure it will be by the time I've finished playing all 50 compositions. The studies themselves are really great quality. They're very short, well they're miniature studies, and generally only take up a page or two. Uh, generally um, only a few lines on the page. But nevertheless they're packed, absolutely packed, with great musical material that helps you learn. And it's also fun to play as well, they're nice to listen to. They're not exercises, they are pieces. So it's a kind of balance between proper sort of big pieces and little short exercises. So I really recommend studies in general, especially these ones. The book on the front cover is really nice quality, really nice image and crisp and smooth. I really like the texture actually as well and it's laid out in a very clear way. I do have a couple of nitpicks with the book. For example, let's come back to the opening page where it lists some of the studies. Now, Chowan gives us a sort of breakdown of the grades. They're only grades in relative to the book, but the grades and the levels the pieces might be. And they're all fairly evenly distributed. That said, though, there is a little bit of a lack in what Chowan sort of feels would be grade one. You've only got five, five pieces in grade one. And I feel like if you're trying to get into studies, you need a few more studies for people who have got slightly less ability than people in the higher grades. Most of them, well actually, yeah, most of them are in the grade three category, which is kind of the middle area, which is again very useful, but it perhaps would have been nice to have seen some of those applied to people who would need some more easy and accessible studies to get into the habit and practice of playing studies. 
also some of the subjects are a little bit biased as well. For example, we've got loads of arpeggio subjects, but only one on tremolo, and only two on groove and glissande, one on cherry picking, and but yet we've got loads on fixed grips and position shifts. It does feel a bit biased and a bit heavily weighted to more subjects than others, and I feel like with a grand total of 50 studies, 50, 5, 0, I feel like there could have been room for at least a second tremolo study, or more than just two studies on groove, yet we've got about 20 on arpeggio. I don't know, it strikes a little bit unbalanced to me. That's not to say the pieces that do focus on arpeggio or the ones are great examples of arpeggio studies, don't get me wrong, but I feel like we could have perhaps seen a bit more of a focus on some of the less represented techniques and things that you would use studies to help you refine. Also, I helped proofread this, so I feel like there's a little bit of me in this book, so that makes me happy. <laughs> the last thing I want to say, and going back to the positive stuff now, is that the music really does have lots of detail in here. You've got loads of notation, so there isn't really room for misinterpretation or error, which I suppose could be a bad thing if you like having things a bit more open to interpretation. But again, these are studies, these are designs to help you sort of learn the traditions of techniques. And so you've got fingerings, both left hand and right hand fingerings, and the tablature, and capo markings and everything, and it's all nice and consistent. Chouan's got a very consistent style throughout the book, which is really nice, which helps you learn the techniques before you can then go away and find other pieces that you can put your own stamp on. Actually, one more thing I'll just mention is uh, all the titles, or a lot of them, are inspired by sort of Chouan's life. She's riding her new bike. I know that he's got a daughter, so perhaps this was inspired when one of these daughters got a new bike. And there's just a really nice human element to these books. Uh, Chowan has multiple, and they're all, they've all got this sort of real life, real world title about them, which I think is just really sweet. So there we are, that's 50 Miniature Studies for Ukulele by Chowan Galvez. Highly, highly recommend it. Please make sure you like and subscribe. YouTube has a tendency to promote videos that have more likes and comments on them because that shows that the videos get more interaction, which means YouTube gets more time, more usage by its users. And so that means the more promotion my videos get in just appearing higher in searches for different topics and things, it means that the bigger my channel can grow, which has the knock-on effect, which means I can dedicate more time to making these videos so I can make them better and I can make more videos. I only have so much time, and if YouTube becomes big enough for me to dedicate more time to it, then you can expect more quality. So you'll be doing yourself a favour if you help me grow my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, any comment you like, it doesn't have to be related to the video I suppose, but just anything that you can give me, it takes about two seconds to leave a like or a comment, I really appreciate it, because it means I can do what I love, which is entertaining you guys, and you get more great content. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video, coming soon.